Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is my favorite time. I get to rank up another 5-star champion. Level up event is going on right now, and I am maxed out on my T5 basic catalyst. So it's time. Now, everyone from Magic on up is a candidate. So I could take Magic, Hawkeye, Star-Lord, Magneto, Storm, Hood, Invisible Woman, Red Hulk, or Hyperion. I could take any of these guys on up. But I think we all know who I'm going to take up. Nope, not Medusa. It's going to be this brother right here. I've been talking about doing this for a while. And before I go back into 6.2.6, .6, I already said that he needed to be ranked five. So without further ado, there we go. He is now my 11th rank five, five star. Got 11 of them. Very, very nice. And we will take a look at his stats and all that good stuff. Uh, if you have not, ooh, I don't have a lot of Mystic. That's right, I did rank up uh, a four-star Clairvoyant uh, recently. Took a lot of that. Um, but if you have not seen my video, a closer look on Symbiote Supreme, take a look. I go pretty uh, in-depth to his abilities. I talk about his phases. Uh, and how you pretty much want to play him. And, uh, whoops, forgot I don't have any of those. Uh, let's grab some of these. And if you haven't seen it, definitely check, take a look at it. Uh, we're not going to be going into that uh, in this particular video, but we will have a little gameplay. And I will just kind of, I don't know, keep doing that. Uh, I don't know who at this point I'm planning on going up against, but chances are I'm going to want to deal with somebody that has some buffs. All right, there we go. He is now maxed out. Let's take a look at his stats here. All right, so you see his tags there, you see his attack power, his health, and we'll switch over there. Pretty nice block proficiency. All right, not bad. And uh, let's take a look at his synergies again. Uh, again, if you have not seen that uh, video, definitely take a look. All right, see those synergies. Take a look here at his abilities. He does not need to be awakened, but his awakened ability gives you a guaranteed stagger. So when RNG doesn't favor you and you're not getting staggers put on your opponent, that can be a very nice to have, but he does not need it. All right, so now let's see some fights where Symbiote Supreme reigns supreme. All right, so instead of going into Realm of Legends Fighting Winter Soldier, I decided to first go into Act 5, and we're going to go on the Resistor path. The reason that we go on Resistor is because they get buffs based on the attack that you uh, do to them. Like a physical, they get a physical resistance buff. If it's an energy attack, they get an energy resistance buff. So they have a lot of buffs. And Symbiote Supreme reigns supreme when his opponents have lots of buffs. So it seems like the perfect place to showcase what he can do. Now, I also include a fight in here against Luke Cage so that you can see that even when they can't be bled, he is still viable. All right, so as you see there, he is building up a lot of energy resistance buffs. 
you can see there and Symbian Supreme is nullifying he's placing staggers and once you get to that special three I want you to watch what happens so he has 10 buffs on him when you fire off this special three it's going to activate all of Symbiote Supreme's modes. Now look at this. You saw how much health just left Iron Man? And look at these bleeds. Insane. So that's pretty much how you want to play Symbiote Supreme. You want to build up to a special three. When you can fire that special three off, it is on. You want to attack. You want to be aggressive. Uh, some masteries that you might want to invest in is Deep Wounds and Mystic Dispersion. They work very well with Symbiote Supreme. And for these fights, I actually changed out of my normal uh, mastery setup. And I went three in Mystic Dispersion and I maxed out Deep Wounds. And that's what you're seeing here. I'm not running suicides. Symbiote Supreme is not suicide friendly. Uh, you can play him in such a way that you don't take a lot of recoil damage since that special three is what you really want to be cycling. But you also want to cycle your special twos as well. So that is what we're going to be dealing with for the next few fights. Uh, there is a fight further along where I fight uh, Hyperion. Uh, so you'll get to see that. All right. So we're at the end of this resistor path here and we're going to fight Luke Cage. Now Luke Cage is bleed immune. So I wanted to include this fight so you could see that even though he can't bleed him, he's still pretty good. All right. So you're still going to want to do the same thing. You want to build up to that special three and if possible, and if you watch my video, um, I mentioned it there, if possible, you want to wait until you have a hundred genetic potential. All right, you see I have 100 there. I fire off the special three. Now it activates all the modes, but watch my power bar when we can uh, come out of this. Sometimes I forget to do this, um, but this time I hit it. And look at that. Look how much power I got. You want to wait until you have 100 genetic potential and you get a lot of power. I'm almost at another special three. Okay. And we fire that one off as well. But look at the damage Luke Cage took because he had a lot of buffs. Now, in the wild, of course, Luke Cage does not have uh, a lot of buffs on him. But for this resistor path, he does. Okay, so just a little way to see the power Symbiote Supreme can bring to bear when he goes up against uh, champions that have a lot of buffs. Uh, the champion, he is a great counter for the champion. He's a great counter for Medusa. And as you will see in a moment, he is also a great counter for Hyperion. So this is not a resistor path here. Okay, you see the nose that you have to deal with. But Hyperion gets a power gain uh, passive. I believe it's a passive. It might be an active. Uh, and you'll see what happens uh, to it here. Okay. So once again, we're just hitting into him, placing those staggers. And look at that. All that power gain just got nullified. So he took damage. And I'm still building up. Now, something else to mention. On the team, I brought Mordo. The reason I brought Mordo is because of a synergy he has with Symbiote Supreme that allows me to start with a bar of power. So since, as I said, you want to build up to a special three as fast as you can, that seemed to be a pretty good uh, synergy to bring in. Just help me out a little bit. All right, and down goes Hyperion. Now, this next fight, not so fun. Uh, it's against Black Widow, and you'll see I made some mistakes and got a little wrecked. All right, but normally, not a bad uh fight for him either all right so i'm sitting there you know i'm feeling pretty good about myself so far you know my shiny new uh rank five symbiote supreme but i wasn't paying attention and as you know she likes to evade she has a very small chance to evade but she seems to evade a lot right when you don't want her to 
All right, so you can see that she actually does get that precision cruelty buff, so he can nullify those. So that's good, but you saw that? She evaded, came back, wrecked me. Reminds me of Labyrinth of Legends. Hate fighting her. All right, so here, I just want to bait out uh, her special. I'm almost gone here. All right, she's not one to throw it. She's hitting into my block and it hurts. So I'm hitting a little bit and then I just said, you know what, I'm just gonna go for it. Uh, I hit her, got some bleeds on her a little bit, but I had to do it because it seems like she didn't wanna fire off her special. She was content with just hitting into my block and destroying me. All right, here we go. She fired it off finally. And here, look at them bleeds. Look at those bleeds. That's a lot of bleed damage. Now watch this. Boom, gone. Because she fired off her special, got those buffs and got nullified. Nice. All right, so we're gonna close out the video with a fight in Realm of Legends, but not against Winter Soldier, but Juggernaut. As you know, Juggernaut gets the unstoppable buff, but Symbiote Supreme, if he gets those staggers, is going to nullify, do damage, and Juggernaut's not gonna go unstoppable, all right? So enjoy the rest of the fight. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.